Thank you for choosing AIBMS AuthiPay as your payment provider. In this video, we'll look at performing your first transaction. To get to the virtual terminal screen from anywhere in the AuthiPay system, just bring your mouse to the menu bar and click on the words Virtual Terminal. This will bring you instantly to the page where you can process a transaction. Now we are here, you can see that there are a lot of text boxes and buttons to navigate, but not all are required. So as to help you tell the difference between required fields and optional fields, the text fields you have to fill in are in bold and the optional ones are not. The important buttons for doing a transaction start with subtotal, total amount, currency and transaction origin. As someone who is taking money, these are the fields you should fill in for the customer to set how much you want to charge them, as well as to explain how the transaction was taken, for example, over the phone versus face to face. Now let's take a closer look at what each field means. Subtotal. This amount should be the amount you wish to charge the cardholder, excluding any VAT and delivery costs. Total amount. Once you have populated the subtotal, then the total amount field will automatically calculate the final amount that the cardholder will be charged. Note that if you had opted to add VAT and shipping, then these will automatically be calculated for you in the total amount field. Currency. You will need to select the currency that you want the transaction to be processed in. This is defaulted to your primary settlement currency. Select card type. There is no need to fill this in. This field will auto-populate once you enter the card number and click outside the card number text box. Transaction origin. This field indicates where the customer is at the point of the sale. Note that for all virtual terminal transactions, this field should always be mail order, telephone order, moto. Transaction type. Here you will need to indicate if you are performing a sale, pre-authorization, etc. Card number. This is where the cardholder's card number is entered. Expiry date. This is where the cardholder's expiry date is entered. Card security code. This is where the card security code found on the back of most cards is entered. Debit, credit. This will auto-populate once you enter the card number and click outside the card number text box. If you were to press continue and any of the above fields are missing from your request, you will be presented with a warning sign indicating that data is missing or incorrect. The sign will look like this. We will now continue to fill in all the card details that were missing so as to process our first transaction. We have blurred these out for this demonstration, but you will be able to see all the numbers you type as you type them in. Please note, once the expiry date was clicked, after fully completing the 16-digit card number, the field Select Card Type and Debit Credit filled in automatically. To complete this transaction, recording only the minimum required information, we move down to the Continue button and press. The confirmation page will look like this. This is the perfect time to confirm with your customer if they are happy with all the details you have collected. You will also note that the card number is now masked, showing you the first six digits and the last four. This will help you confirm the details with the customer, but from now on, you will never see the full details in the system again. This will prevent you from having access to customers' cards, which in turn will protect your company and the cardholder. This is particularly beneficial when submitting your PCI security assessment, as this meets their requirements in full. When you press Submit, your transaction is sent for approval you will now be presented with the transaction result page, which will indicate if the transaction was successful or not. The field you are interested in is a transaction status field, which will indicate approved or declined. Congratulations, you have now processed your first transaction. You can view and print a customer receipt if you wish. To get back to the beginning to process your next transaction, you simply need to click on Next Transaction.